Thank you all for being here and for supporting us through this crazy, horrible time. I, I think it just speaks to you as parents and families. What an exceptional job these dancers have done. Here we go. The dedication that they have, it comes from you, and we are so grateful for it. We're grateful for your kindness and your thoughtfulness and your generosity. You have raised beautiful, beautiful children. Most of all, our seniors, and what we do every year is we ask our seniors to come forward. They don't have to talk a lot. They're just gonna tell us how long they've danced for and what their plans are. Telephone. <laughs> and I have a little gift that I usually give to our seniors behind the scenes, but we're gonna consider this your diploma because you did not get a graduation, so this is your graduation right now. All right, so we're gonna start, please, with Elizabeth Adams. Um, I've been dancing for 15 years. And what else did I just say? Plans for the fall. Oh, um, I'm going to the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in Los Angeles. Yes, yeah, she is. Thank you. Next is Caroline Badeau. I think this is my 16th year dancing, yeah, and I'm going to Yukon in the fall. Woo! Here we go, and Kaylin Bada Kaylin <laughs> Kaylin Barnes, the one and only. <laughs> Sorry, there was a bug on me. There still is. Um, I've been dancing for 15 years, and I'm going to Fordham University in New York. Woo! You go, girl. Callan Badeau, just kidding. <laughs> Callan Flanagan. Um, I've been dancing for 10 years and I'm going to Temple University. Woo! Yay! Yeah. And Celia Luzo. Woo! I've been dancing for 15 years and I'm going to Providence College in Rhode Island next year. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Oh, this is so overwhelming. And we have Angelia Musman. <laughs> I'm going to Washington College in Maryland next year. And, and I've been dancing 13 years. 13 years. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> She's not Last but never least, Olivia Shields. <laughs> I've been dancing for 10 years, and I'm going to Mount Holyoke College. Yeah, you are. So we, here we go, hold on. At recital, I always ask you to turn around. What I want you to do is I want you to imagine the scene that you would have seen at recital. All of the younger faces, here are a bunch of them, that look up to you. You have inspired them during your time with us. You are going to continue to inspire them as you go after your dreams. This entire studio is behind you. We love you and the doors are always open. This is not goodbye. 
This is see you later. And you're gonna come back real soon, like tomorrow. <laughs> and we're gonna dance together for years and years to come. And you're gonna see, like look at what you've done, okay? And just know how much we love you and we're proud of you. Congratulations. Now. <laughs> wouldn't call a commercial building in the Bell Tower Mall a home, you wouldn't believe the significance the walls of this building hold. Every panel of mirror to every piece of tape holding our floor together has been a part of my journey so far, but it goes beyond the physical foundations. The people who are the pumping heart of the studio or it makes it really so difficult to say goodbye. I'm so grateful to have the love and support of the studio as I leave to pursue my purpose. Dance Designs has taught me that success is not accidental. It takes hard work, dedication, and a family of supporters to back you up. And I have nothing short of a family here at Dance. Thank you to every girl I've shared the stage with, and especially my teachers, Amy, Kelly, Candace, and Keith. You are always present, not only at the good times, but when I need you there the most. This dance team has been my rock for longer than I can remember, and I'll always be grateful. Okay. I shouldn't say the first session, so that'll be fine. Um, I will always remember seeing the graduating seniors cry during warm-up at one of my first recitals and asking them why they were all so sad. Sixteen years later, I've come full circle and can finally answer that question myself. It is hard to explain just how much the studio and these people have meant to me and how hard closing this chapter in my life will be. I was lucky enough to grow up with the studio. As a constant in my life, lucky enough to go through preschool, elementary school, and high school as a member of this family. I can't remember a time when I didn't have a dance class after school or a cycle to look forward to at the end of the year. Part of me still feels like that eager 10-year-old that stayed at the studio for as long as possible and tried to win the older girls' dances, which is why writing this speech feels so surreal. For as long as I live, I will always be in debt to dance events for all that it has given me. That building is where I fell in love with dance, laughed my hardest, cried my hardest, and made memories that will last a lifetime. There were so many everyday occurrences at the studio that I'm going to miss. I'll miss walking in and saying hi to Alexis, hearing about the kids that I used to days, and running dances for each other and grind. I'll miss people walking into the bathroom and yelling at me for bringing smelly food <laughs> or offering me leftovers because they know I will always take them. <laughs> I'll miss the jokes that only we understand, singing at the top of our lungs and having dance battles while waiting to grow across the floor, and the days when we are slap happy from being at the studio for so long. More than anything, I will miss the feeling of completely letting go and doing what I love surrounded by people that I love. One of the greatest gifts that this studio has given me, no matter how cheesy it may sound, is a family. It is hard to explain the bond we've developed with people at the studio, but it's unlike any other. You quickly move past the stage of being friends and into the territory of being sisters. I have been blessed to spend my years on TDC, dancing with some of the most amazing people I have ever met. These people have brightened my days, helped me grow as a person, and made me laugh harder than ever before, and I am confident they will be in my life for the long run. If that wide-eyed toddler who walked into dance design 16 years ago could see all that this studio has given me, she would be shocked. Dance Designs has turned into so much more than a building for me and will have an everlasting impact on my heart. Thank you, Amy, Kelly, Nora, Keith, Candice, Morgan, and my parents for being a part of my journey, giving me guidance and always fostering my love for dance. I still am in disbelief that this chapter is over, but will always look back on it as some of the best years of my life. Fifteen years ago, I took the Barnesville High School stage for the first time <laughs> in a cartoony monkey costume. At the time, I had no idea what I was becoming. Since that day, dance has become my escape, my passion, and my life. Fast forward eight years when I made the life-changing decision to join DTC. My time on this team has absolutely made me into the person I am today. I will forever miss all the long Saturdays where I easily listen to the DJ Shuffle more than 100 <laughs> times in four years. Favorite. <laughs>
and I'll miss when it was socially acceptable to fit 15 or more people behind the polka dot curtain. <laughs> I'll never forget the amazing naps that I took back. <laughs> Most of all, I will miss the hushed whispers looming, quick hugs, handshakes, chants, cheers, and dancers ready. I'll never be able to replicate the feeling of being lost while on stage. I'd like to thank my family, especially my mom, for supporting and cheering me on for my entire dance career. I'd also like to thank Nora, Keith, Morgan, Candice, Kelly, and Amy for accepting me as their own and for loving me like family. I'm, in forever, I'm forever in debt to you all. And to my team, DDC past and present, I'd like to thank you for being the best people I've ever met, especially Aaron Isaacs and Callum Flanagan, who have been there for me for as long as I can remember. And to Caroline Bedell, who has been by my side ever since freshman year. <laughs> the memories made during our time on Free Pro are endless. You are my teammate forever. <laughs> I'm excited to take on the world with my fellow seniors. I love you all, and I can confidently say, dancers ready. <laughs> After years of sitting in the waiting room for hours at the old studio on Pierce's Way, I finally got my chance. Through my 10 years on this team, there's been one lesson that proves itself year after year, and it's to really soak up the little moments that give you that feeling of complete bliss. I can't explain how many of these moments I've experienced with this team, and most of the time, they're the only ones who've made me feel like that. Even when they give, gave me a black eye, even when their energy was just too much for me some days, it all comes back to the hugs that are filled with so much love. I stand by the fact that this team gives the best hugs and I know that the comfort I get from those hugs will be the thing that I miss most. In between all these hugs lays the moments, peeing in the little moments, peeing in my sax costume backseat, <laughs> making a chant for that special team, shout out to DDC3, squeezing 15 people in a back room where realistically only five people could be, the cowbell from the mom in the audience, and standing backstage holding hands and staring at that empty stage knowing you're about to perform with the girls you grew up with, the girls that made you who you are, someone you're really proud to be. This family, this team, and these teachers gave me all the moments and lessons in life that I could ask for. There really is no other team I would have wanted to be on and no other team I could see myself dancing on the stage with and doing the Cotton Eye Joe for hours on end. In the future, I always look forward to our hugs and those small moments where our smiles go unwavering and we're back together as a family. Congratulations to all your seniors. It's been real. <laughs> 11 years old, I remember sitting down with my mom and calling every dance studio on Cape Cod to find my new dance home in a brand new town. Looking back, I am so grateful that Dance Designs picked up the phone the only studio, and welcomed me with the most loving arms. My mom and I took boat rides, buses, carpools, and taxi cabs to get to the studio every single Saturday. I loved every minute at dance, and since the very first day, I have made the most amazing lifelong friends, you all. We have all grown together throughout the years, and I would not be who I am today without my teammates. I truly wouldn't. I love you all. Starting out, I was very shy and stood in the back corner most classes. Each year, I seemed to gain more and more confidence with the help of Amy and Kelly. They did everything they could to help me break out of my shell. I never would have thought seven years ago that I would be standing on stage performing a solo choreographed by someone I look up to so, so much. Now I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that it is okay to push yourself and to always stay positive, even in the tougher moments. Although this year isn't what we expected, I will be leaving the studio feeling so prepared for what is to come. It's all the little moments, the laughter, the tears, the exhaustion, and all the excitement that I will cherish forever as one great big memory. The plane rides to Disney and the bus rides to New York City. I will miss it all. I could not have done it without Amy, Kelly, Candace, Morgan, Keith, Nora, and of course, Alexis. And I'd like to give a special shout out to my mom. Mom, thank you for the tiresome days, following me to rehearsals and competitions, also that I could dance. I'm forever grateful for the bonding experiences we shared, doing my hair and makeup, and going on road trips. <laughs> I can't see. My parents have supported me through it all, and I cannot thank them enough for the past 15 years. Looking forward, I'm happy to say that I will wish that I wish all the dancers in years to come 
the best of luck as I would not change a single second at the studio for anything else. Last six years that I spent calling dance designs my second home, the studio has given me the feeling of having sisters that I never knew I was missing before and provided me with not only a second home but with a second family. Spending countless days and nights sleep deprived after dancing all day together made for a bond that is hard to be broken regardless of our constant bickering. <laughs> the meaning behind the studio extends far beyond the four walls and enclosed the space I've spent every day for so long. From the back room behind the curtain filled with contagious laughs, crazy stories, and the smell of whatever food was candle I was eating that day. <laughs> to dancing on the sidelines during tone and stretch and gray, this building holds more memories than I can count. I used to be scared of my own shadow and afraid to use my voice, and through dance and the people that surrounded me, I became more and more comfortable with who I was, and I will forever be grateful for the support that gave me the ability to grow as a person. Thank you to Kelly for making Saturday morning ballet classes my favorite part of the week, and Amy for making DDC such a memorable part of my life. I wouldn't be the person I am now without this team. Thank you to Morgan for the short period of time I spent in your class before the world started ending, and thank you to Candace for always having a yoga pose to fix all my injuries. <laughs> and of course, thank you to Alexis for solving every problem we've managed to create, both backstage and in the studio. One last studio goes. One last thank you goes to Celia, whose pep talks and telling me to be positive got me through every competition season. Caitlin, whose applause was the first I heard whenever I did something I thought I couldn't, and Katie for being my little sister through it all. The girls I've spent years in a team with will always be a part of my family, and the studio will always have a piece of my heart. Here we go. <laughs> when I was 12 years old, my mom encouraged me to start taking dance classes again. Many people had recommended a studio called Dance Designs, such as our former babysitter, Shay Forrest, and our neighbor, Claire Thomas. So Dance Designs is where I went. It had been five years since I had danced, and I was changing schools that same year, so naturally I felt really nervous. Back then, I never could have imagined that I would join the competition team, perform in places like Disney World in New York City, share my senior year with these six strong, talented, beautiful people, and ultimately find a second family. Some of my favorite memories have come from being backstage before performing our dances. I remember having a coughing fit before performing Stars and Stripes at Nouveau, <laughs> and my teammates were checking in with me to make sure I was all right, and I remember smiling through the pain on stage. <laughs> I remember when Hope and I ran and jumped around before performing our duo at Ravel to get the nerves out. I remember watching boys hip hop before performing Everybody Knows at the recital last year and cheering when one of the boys did the Hulk smash. <laughs> <laughs> However, as much as I will cherish these backstage memories, dance has taught me that I am also worthy of the spotlight. I remember in a meeting with Amy, she encouraged me to put myself out there and always be confident in who I am. Dance has taught me to stand tall and I've really grown a lot because of dance ever since back then when I was 12 and I was really shy. The incomparable feeling of freedom that comes with moving on stage with the people you love is something that I'm forever grateful for. I'm grateful that my parents encouraged me to start dancing again and that they drove me to all these various places, helping me with hair and makeup, getting me food and cheering me on at my performances. I'm grateful for all the people that recommended dance designs to me. And I'm grateful that this is where I ultimately chose to dance. I'm grateful that my grandmother made it possible for me to dance and supported me at my performances. Thank you to all my dance teachers, Amy, Kelly, Nora, <laughs> Nora Morgan, Candace, and Alexis for being so welcoming and inspiring to me every day. I'm grateful that dance is something I could share with my sister, that we could talk about on long car rides home and we could ultimately dance together on stage. I'm grateful for these six seniors, my friends. Congratulations, you all, de congratulations, you all deserve everything. And I wish you the best of luck as you chase after your dreams. Our senior year obviously didn't go as expected and it's easy to think about what we lost. However, as one of the noblest of boy bands once said, <laughs> One Direction, <laughs> the fact that we can 
sit right here and say goodbye means we've already won. It's truly a gift that we could share this last performance with one another. I love you all and you always have a place in my heart. What we leave behind is something we tried to get right That didn't go the way we planned What we leave behind is something beautiful Maybe too beautiful to ever last But what we take with us is love, love, love what we take with us is love, love, love We take the good and that's good enough Think of us, love, love, love What we leave behind is something we were blessed to find Something we won't find again What we leave behind is something we were glad we had Even if it had to end But what we take with us is love, love, love What we take with us is love, love, love we take the good and that's good enough Think of us, love, love, love After the ending, never regretting Never forgetting what we have Some of the best times are oh.